Jeremiah 24. Yahweh showed me, and behold, two baskets of figs were set before the temple of Yahweh. After that, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had carried away captive Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and the princes of Judah, with the carpenters and smiths from Jerusalem, and had brought them to Babylon. One basket had very good figs, even like the figs that are first ripe. And the other basket had very naughty figs, which could not be eaten, they were so bad. Then Yahweh said unto me, What seest thou, Jeremiah? And I said, Figs, the good figs, very good, and the evil, very evil, that could not be eaten, they are so evil. Again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Thus saith Yahweh, the power of Israel. Like these good figs, so will I acknowledge them that are carried away captive of Judah, whom I have sent out of this place into the land of the Chaldeans for their good. For I will set mine eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them again to this land, and I will build them and not pull them down, and I will plant them and not pluck them up. And I will give them a heart to know me, that I am Yahweh, and they shall be my people, and I be I will be their God, for they shall return unto me with their whole heart. And as the evil figs which cannot be eaten, so they are so evil, surely thus saith Yahweh, so will I give Zedekiah the king of Judah, and his princes, and the residue of Jerusalem that remain in this land, and them that dwell in the land of Egypt, and I will deliver them to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth for their hurt to be a reproach to be a reproach and in a, and a proverb a taunt and a curse in all places where I shall drive them and I will send the sword the famine and the pestilence among them till they be consumed from off the land that I gave unto them and to their fathers. So you see that you're dealing with the seed of Israel. He talk about Judah and the, being consumed off the land of Israel and uh, the inheritance that was promised to the fathers. All right, so that's Jeremiah 24. Here go Jeremiah 25. <clears throat> the word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the people of Judah in the fourth year of Jacob. Uh, Je 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 Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. That was the first year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. The which Jeremiah the prophet spake unto all the people of Judah and to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, From the thirteenth year of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, even unto this day, that is, the three and twentieth year, the word of Yahweh hath come unto me, and I have spoken unto you, rising early and speaking, but ye have not hearkened. And Yahweh hath sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened, nor inclined your ear to hear. They said, Turn ye again, now every one from his evil way, and from the evil of your doings, and dwell in the land that Yahweh hath given unto you, and to your fathers forever and ever. You see that? Land to a people and to their fathers forever and ever. Verse 6. And go not after other gods to serve them and to worship them. And provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands. And I will do you no hurt. Yet ye have not hearkened unto me, saith Yahweh that you might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, because ye have not heard my words, behold, I will send and take all the families of the north, saith Yahweh, <clears throat> and Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and will bring them against this land and against the inhabitants thereof, and against all these nations round about, and will utterly destroy them, and make them an astonishment, and an hissing, and a perpetual desolations. Moreover, I will take from them the voice of mirth, and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, 
the sound of the millstones and the light of the candles. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this whole land, verse 11, and this whole land shall be a desolation and an astonishment. And these nations shall serve the king of Babylon 70 years. And it shall come to pass when 70 years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon and that nation, saith Yahweh, for their iniquity in the land of the Chaldeans. And will make it perpetual desolations. And I will bring upon that land all my words which I have pronounced against it, even all that is written in this book, which Jeremiah hath prophesied against all the nations. Verse 14, Jeremiah 25, 14. For many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of them also. And I will also, and I will recompense them according to their deeds and according to the works of their own hands. For thus saith Yahweh, power of Israel, unto me, take the wine cup of this fury at my hand, and cause all the nations to whom I send thee to drink it. And they shall drink, and be moved, and be mad, because of the sword that I will send among them. <clears throat> Verse 17, Then took I the cup at the, at the Lord's head, Excuse me, and then took I took I the cup at Yahweh's hand and made all the nations to drink unto whom Yahweh had sent me <clears throat> to wit Jerusalem and the cities of Judah and the kings thereof and the princes thereof to make them a desolation and an astonishment and hissing and a curse as it is this day. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and his servants, and his princes, and all his people, and all the mingled people, and all the kings of the land of Uz, and all the kings of the land of the Philistines, and, and Ashkelon, and Azah, and Ekron, and the remnant of Ashdod. <clears throat> Verse 21, Edom, and Moab, and the children of Ammon, and all the kings of Tyrus, and all the kings of Z Zidon, and the kings of the Isles. Which are beyond the sea, Dedan and Tima and Buzz, all that are in the utmost utmost corners, and all the kings of Arabia, and all the kings of the mingled people that dwell in the desert, and all the kings of Zim, Zimri, and all the kings of Elam, and all the kings of the Medes, and all the kings of the north, far and near, one with another. And all the kingdoms of the world which are upon the face of the earth and the king of Shishak shall drink after them. Therefore thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the God of Israel, drink ye and be drunken and spew and fall and rise no more because of the sword which I will send among you. And it shall be, if they refuse to take the cup at thine hand to drink, then shalt thou say to them, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, ye shall certainly drink. For lo, I begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name, and should ye be utterly unpunished, ye shall not be unpunished. For I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, saith Yahweh of hosts. Therefore prophesy thou against them all these words, and say unto them, Yahweh shall roar from on high, Yahweh shall roar from on high and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He shall mightily roar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout as they that tread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth. For Yahweh hath a controversy with the heathen. Okay, that's nations right there. That's all you heathens. That's all heathens. All right, he will plead with all flesh, okay? He will give them that are wicked to the sword, save Yahweh. And that's to the uh, Israelites who don't want to repent also, all flesh. He's going to plead with everybody. But you see, he got a controversy with your nations for his inheritance that you guys are, uh, are uh, stealing and robbing and spoiling, okay? Verse 32, thus save Yahweh of hosts, behold, Evil shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. And the slain of Yahweh shall be at that day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, nor gathered. Now, 
nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. Howl, ye shepherds, and cry, and wallow yourselves in the ashes, ye principal of the flock, for the days of your slaughter and of your, disper and of your dispersions are accomplished, and ye shall fall like a pleasant vessel. And the shepherds shall have no way to flee, nor the principal of the flock to escape. A voice of the cry of the shepherds and a howling of the principal of the flock shall be heard. For Yahweh hath spoiled their pasture, and the peaceable habitations are cut down because of the fierce anger of Yahweh. He hath forsaken his covert as the lion, for their land is desolate because of the fierceness of the oppressor and because of his fierce anger. Amen. Y'all remember that. You heathens. The city called by his name. He gonna judge. And shall you heathens go utterly unpunished? Ha <laughs> ha. No way. You shall be punished. He gonna call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth. All right. Okay. Look at verse 29. Jeremiah 25, 29. For lo, I for lo, I begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name, and should ye be utterly unpunished, ye shall not be unpunished, for I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, save Yahweh of hosts. So all you nations are drunk and mad right now, cause y'all think Ashkenazi Jew is who you need to be bound to. But you got another thought coming real soon. Stay tuned. By Sham Yahweh Shai. All praise to the Most High. Amen, amen. Your brother, remain true. Your Ram Yahweh.